Hey, BuilderDude35 here, and this week I'm going to be discussing with you guys the Virtual Machine or VM Instruction Break in the EV3 software. So, I'm sure some of you out there have struggled with the VM Instruction Break when you're programming with the EV3. And in this video, I'm going to discuss it with you and hopefully provide some insight on how it can, I can help you fix this problem. And you can even share your story of how the VM acted up on you. So anyway, in order to solve a problem, you need to first understand what it is. So what is the VM? VM, for those of you who don't know, stands for Virtual Machine. And it's essentially the program a computer runs when it's running an operating system that's not native to it. So what does that mean in plain English? Basically, the EV3 is running Linux, which is firmware that wasn't originally designed for the EV3. So the EV3 runs a virtual machine to allow it to run Linux. And Linux is nice and easy for us all to use. Also, why does the VM instruction break error occur at all? Now, there's really no one reason for it to happen. When it happened to me, I found the reason, but when I heard of another person it happened to, it was completely random. And so far, I've heard two cases of it. Okay, so the first account of the VM instruction break error in the EV3 is my own. And this happened in September 2014 when I was programming my Timmyton 5.5 robot. If you haven't seen that, go see it. It's really cool. Anyway, I was programming the autonomous mode for my Timmyton 5.5. And basically what I was originally doing with the program is I had multiple branches of code that were running in parallel to each other. Oh, by the way, this is an EV3G, you know, the drag and drop block stuff. So anyway, each sensor had its own parallel line of code. And whenever the sensor was triggered, uh, it would transfer the robot to that line of code and it would tell the robot to complete action. But the problem with having parallel lines of code is that sometimes it would tell the robot to do two conflicting actions. Like for example, it would tell one motor to turn in two directions at the same time, forward and backward. And this is when the error started occurring. Now I didn't realize that it's at first, of course, I went through a few hours worth of frustration trying to uh, figure out what the problem was, but I eventually re-examined the, the program and went piece by piece, and I noticed that this was happening, and I fixed it, and then it magically fixed the VM problem, and I didn't even know they had any relation to each other before I fixed it. So anyway, I was glad I fixed it, and I, until recently, I thought the VM instruction break error happened when stuff like this happened, when you're telling your robot to do conflicting things, and it does. It, uh, that's one of the reasons. However, I heard another account of a person who encountered this problem, and they uh, commented on my website. If you haven't seen my website, go check it out. Anyway, uh, he said, and I'll read the comment to you. The VM instruction break here occurs with a completely different program. It's only sequential, no parallel branches, and we could track it down to a simple variable read operation and a switch reacting to it. There also seems to be some randomness to it. It also occurred with an array operation another time. We circumvented it now with an additional variable, which has no meaning whatsoever. It is just included in between at the place where it is crashed. Now it runs fine, so there seems to be a bug in the Mindstorm software or in the VM. Thing is that we will never know if it will occur again. Now after hearing that second account, that's when I learned that this problem is more than just fluffy pink unicorns dancing on rainbows and there's not just one silver bullet solution that's going to cause this problem. There's actually a lot of different things that could trigger this problem and a lot of them are unknown and probably still waiting out there. So anyway, I'm asking for your help. If you have experienced this problem, please leave a little comment in the section below explaining uh, how this problem came about, what you're doing, and if you circumvented it, how you managed to do that. And I would really appreciate that. Now, I can't right now at this point give you an exact way to fix it, but there are some tips that will help you uh, to get rid of this. One thing to do that always helps whenever there's a programming issue is to update your firmware to the latest uh, update. This never hurts. I mean, even if it doesn't help, it never hurts. And uh, this is always a good thing to keep up to date on. The other thing is do what I do when I had the problem and just go step by step by in your program, look at it chunk by chunk, and see if there's any kind of flaws that may be causing this. Like I had the parallel branches that were wigging out the robot, 
or sometimes it's just completely random like in the second account and you kind of just have to use trial and error to fix this. The last thing to do, the last resort if you can't find anything wrong with your program is to just um, do everything, uh, do what most engineers hate doing and contact Lego Tech Support and um, hopefully they'll be able to either help you and if they can't help you you'll give them that much more information that they can examine whatever bug might be in their firmware and you can help them to fix it in the next firmware edition. Thanks for stopping by this week and sharing your feedback. If you haven't already, go check out my new website. I've got a new website and there's going to be all kinds of new content on there. And hopefully I'll be able to have a downloads page for you guys so you can download building instructions for my uh, models. No promises, but fingers crossed. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I do tutorials like this every Thursday and I do uh, MOCs. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.